I hire him here. The Bebopper left a comment on the video I did yesterday. The internal corrugated aluminum pot stand boil test 2. Where he said, I wonder whether the corrugated foil would help drive the burner harder when used with the west wind. I wasn't sure if he was kidding. I mean, a, a pot stand with a pot stand. But it did sound interesting, so I thought maybe I'd give it a try today. So what he's saying is, putting the, what I call the eye caps, the internal corrugated aluminum pot stand, whew, what a mouthful, eye caps, into the Trangia burner, and then putting it into the west wind. So what I did was I made another eye caps, and I made it so that it's just tall enough that it doesn't touch the bottom of the pot when it's setting on the west wind. So I have a, oh, this is going to be a two-parter, that's right. The first part is I'm going to do this test again just with the west wind and the Trangia burner using my basic uh, Boy Scout pot number two just so that I can get a baseline and see what the times are like. So, now this one, when you don't have that eye caps in there, you can just light the Trangia up the way you normally do. It'll come to a blossom fairly soon. When you put the eye caps in there, you have to put a bead of uh, methanol or whatever it is you're burning on the outside of the burner so that it heats it up and then blossoms. I've just found that if I put this into the <clears throat> if I put this into the burner if I light this it's really tough to get the jets to light up. So you have to put a bead of methanol or alcohol on here pre-light it out here and then it'll light up and blossom the, the burner. <clears throat> okay, I have a blossom there. So I have two cups of water here setting at 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, come on, 212 and 916, so that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees coming to a full boil at 212 in 9 minutes and 16 seconds. The uh, room temperature is 55 and the humidity is 47, cloudy and windy out. So I'm going to take all this off, let it cool down, and then redo the test with the eye caps in it. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's been a little over two hours for me and what, maybe about 10 seconds for you. Everything's gotten back to room temperature, which is 55 degrees. I put the... Uh, methanol back into the burner. I put alcohol methanol on the outside edge. Let's light this. Like I said, this has to be lit differently when you put the eye caps in there so that it'll bloss blossom out. Okay, I have two cups of water here. It's picking up heat from that already. Move that out of the way. Okay, the alcohol, methanol rather, is just about ready to run out on the edge. Should blossom. Okay, there we have blossom with the eye caps in place. 
Here's two cups of water setting at 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211. Come on, sounds like it's boiling. Okay, that's boiling. I don't know why it's not going up, but I think that was like seven, let's say seven forty-five. Hmm. It's obviously boiling. I don't know why that thermometer is not reading. Okay. I'm going to have to check into that. So, that time I had two cups of water starting at 61 degrees again. Come to a boil in 7 minutes and 45 seconds compared to 9 minutes and 16 seconds. So that's like, what, a minute and a half short shorter time by putting that eye caps in there. It's kind of hard to compare the flames, but this did look like it was way bigger. I'll put two pictures here side by side to show what the uh, the flames were like compared to each other. The one on the left is the uh, first test without the eye caps, and the one on the right is this test with the eye caps. Did I say that right? Left without, right with. And you should be able to see if there's a big difference here. But in my eye here, it did look like with the eye caps it was a bit bigger. Okay, what I'm going to do now is take out the eye caps so that I can put this flame out. Now again, like I said, there's alcohol on this when you go to pull it out, so you got to be careful. Let that burn off. And then, as always, put out the Trangia with your simmering, not with the cap because of the rubber O-ring that's in there. So, it looks like maybe the Bebopper was right. This does work a little bit better using this uh, internal corrugated aluminum pot stand inside the burner along with the West Wing pot stand. I thank the Bebopper for that suggestion. I thank you for watching my videos. <clears throat> I look forward to input like this, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin. And I know it's never gonna end.